Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing MPQ Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on. It's been a few days. I hope to, I wished to have gotten some other videos in, in over this uh, busy weekend and just couldn't get it done. But we are looking at running through PVE in Honor Among Thieves. It should be a fast blast run through. I plan to just Thanos and everything just for today. We're jumping into a late bracket flip. So as soon as the, as the, as I get word that the bracket has um, um, flipped over and brand new. We're going to get into that. Let me pause the video and we'll rush through this for fun and absolutely blast PVE. Here we go in just a second. Okay, I've just gotten word that the brand new bracket is open of a thousand players. So let's jump in and get started. I'm going to play clearance level eight just to keep things a little bit more speedy. My roster is... Uh, is really designed for clearance level 9, so I apologize for kind of uh, uh, dropping down just a little bit, but uh, this is going to help s save the uh, clear times to be a normal amount, and here we go. We definitely got in within the very first five people at all, and we're going to play with our boosted five-star Iceman. Look at the health he has. is just crazy. And let's go over here and just get a guy that's going to deal well with the Thanos damage that comes along with it. Most of this is just going to be a complete slam through this thing, guys. So let's do it. A lot of court death. I've got the animations off to keep this uh, as fast as possible. We'll see. I don't. Uh, I don't clear the fastest in PVE, and I, I. I just feel like playing some fun teams like just having Thanos do all the dirty work. So. Um, might not be the fastest here, but I do anticipate probably a top ten finish in this we'll see rooting along for some other friends that are in this bracket as well perhaps we'll see who's in there by the time we're done probably not too much to talk about strategy wise this is going to take about 20 some minutes to fly through i'm thinking like 22 to 26 minutes more like let's see Sometimes when you're doing the easy nodes and there's an extra move, it's actually faster to do it as a match three or a match four because you don't have as much potential for cascades and that'll just uh, make everything take longer than you need it to. So let's do this actually. Let's go down and grab our three star Thanos. We don't need the big guy doing all of this damage with his court death. We can grab him and jump into the remaining clears. Each match does well over 3,000, 4, 5,000 match damage from a boosted 5-star character. I have a new... I upgraded phones, guys, so if the... Oops, sorry for that. If the audio or anything or the way the video looks, let me know if it's different or um, not as good as it was before, if I can tweak anything. Things might be a little off. I don't know if the music or sound effects are out of balance compared to what they used to be. It looks like it tried to retain my settings on switching over devices, but we'll see. I haven't recorded anything myself to test it yet. And uh, now with the different phone, I'm looking forward to maybe getting into live streaming a, a little bit again. We'll see. No promises yet, but uh, I think it'll be easier than what I was trying to do before. So these mindless ones are always a little bit tougher in this specific event for me. They have a lot of uh, time-consuming animations with their special tiles and stuff. Okay, so I just cleared all the easy nodes first. Let's go ahead and finish those out since we've got uh, the, the uh, weaker Thanos ready to go. Save time. by just uh, clearing these each... Wave nodes, you clear them twice. The normal nodes, you clear them four times so that the timer starts. See, there's an extra move. I'm just going to avoid it and do that. <laughs> that would take too long. We're talking, you know, seconds different of time frame. It's not a big deal, but as uh, if, if each match took... 5, 10 seconds longer than you need it to. That would add up completely over the time frame. It's all about speed in PvE.
These easy nodes are pretty quick. Let's go down to this one. One turn wins are great. And the other matches, uh, like I said, were just, just a complete blast through for fun. And I don't show PvE a lot. I, I just caught a lucky um, bracket hit a thousand. So I, people were saying that the new, new bracket would open up. And so it's good to jump in early if you can. And stay toward the front of the pack. Especially if you have the boosted characters, the essential characters. Oops, I took the extra move. Don't have a two-minute cascade here, please. <laughs> it's nice to have a boosted Iceman. His match game is already pretty high compared to other characters. He's got a bunch of health and such. So we're in the top five on the speed of our clears so far. I, is there another multi-stage wave node up ahead i think there might be so let's do this let's go back grab our other thanos and we can take daredevil through a few more clears before he gets injured too much to stay along i like to get the wave nodes done early in the clears and they're worth a lot more points than other battles are so the sooner you get them cleared up the longer time frame those nodes have to regenerate points for you interestingly enough though this bracket flip happened about a half hour before we normally do yep that's there we go that's the bracket i was looking for i better get daredevil out of here let's go to let's have fun with professor x maybe we'll get some chaos anyway i was gonna say um my grind time is actually coming up here, so these nodes aren't going to have a whole lot of time to refresh anyway. But if we do it right, maybe we'll get a couple more points than the next guy. We'll see. The problem with using 5-star Thanos a lot is when your team is stunned, especially the boosted characters, you don't get their big match damage when they're stunned. Good thing about Iceman though is if you happen to match his countdowns that deal a stun, you do get the stun even if he is stunned when you match it. We'll have to use health packs on Professor X, but that's fine. We've got plenty to use. Bringing him along just because if we get random match fours and stuff, he will do a little extra damage as we go. Get clear number two done of this wave node. Get that out of the way as quickly as possible. I hope this is interesting. Some of you might, you know, find it a little on the boring side since I don't have any real strategy to talk about. It's just an absolute blast through. Maybe that's fun. Should have tried to get a lot of green going earlier than I could have had Iceman's repeaters running, which do a whole lot of damage. You, you see, I can play it now, but you can't play it when he's stunned. All right, so we've cleared that wave node. That's probably fine. Now let's find the four-star node. That's Iceman to the five. And let's see, that's the three-star node. Spider-Man 2099. Miguel... O'Hara, here we go. We can just uh, bring him in with Iceman and Thanos, and that's all we're going to do is just blast these guys. And I do like Thanos because the court death is usually up and above the other character's health, so it's a complete knockout uh, down the whole team as soon as you knock one guy out of the out of the match. Twenty ninety nine Spidey deals a little bit of damage whenever we match his colors. Whether he tanks those colors or not, so that's kind of a nice deal. We can go for yellow matches. Here's an extra move. Twenty ninety nine creates some web tiles and then Deals a little bit of damage.
PvE is pretty repetitive, that's why it's nice to have quick knockouts that doesn't feel like it's such a grind. Still, kind of a grind. <laughs> the rewards are good. So I missed some opportunities to play in the shield simulator toward the end of the season. I thought I was going to get back into it, ran late like usual, and then just got way too late to finish it out. I did it on my own. Is that two star? Yeah, let's go to the three star node. There it is. Three star Punisher. He can take some of this court death damage. So we'll have to get in a bunch of PvE in the off season events, and right now running is the combined arms. PvP event. Did I say PvE? Anyway, back onto PvP now, and uh, or dis discussing it. The combined arms event is pretty cool. You have to play a two star, three star, and a four star character every time. So it's a lot of fun to come up with uh, team combos that you wouldn't necessarily have thought of before, or um, mix and match characters you've been looking forward to run together. And I'm gonna try my best to get a, uh, a whole bunch of PvP battles in that event, and uh, we'll have it as a separate video, probably the next one. On top of that, it might also be a separate video again, is we've got to pull a whole bunch of tokens, including um, a stack of elites and basics, because we got to build up our characters. We're getting an update for the game. Have you read about the... Um, the big time update for champion rewards. Character champion reward levels are being um, updated, modified, and everybody gets a feeder now pretty much. Any, all the five stars do, and the four stars are changing a little bit, and shards are becoming part of the rewards structure on champion levels. So a lot of things are, are, are um, becoming updated soon, and I think it's going to be tomorrow from the time of this video. So I need to do a separate video, maybe a little bit later tonight, of pulling a bunch of tokens. We have the Crash of the Titans to do as well. And then we'll do that separate Combined Arms PvP as well. Oops, wrong, wrong node there. At some point. The two-move combo with the green that drops. Look at that, extra move. I don't know if I'm playing my speediest while I think about what to talk about in the at the same time, but I think we're doing pretty fast run through so far. Don't always use Thanos in my clears. A lot of times it's other characters, uh, boosted five star and um, you know Kitty and Rocket and Groot plays fine. Sometimes um, just uh, Jessica Jones and Professor X with their passive abilities you can hit traps and match fours and they do a bunch of damage of course so it's a lot of fun mixing mixing those characters up for clear sometimes i'm not even in a hurry if placement isn't uh, as big of a concern usually i do go for placement done with those now let's go back up to let's run through these from the top down i think is this the right one yeah and then we'll save the five star node for last all right, so who would be good here? Let's get... Eh, maybe not this guy yet. I'll save him for the mindless ones. Let's stick with Professor X in case he gets a quick match for... There we go, extra move. Takes the guy out in, this, in that same turn instead of needing an additional turn. We'll play him until he needs a health pack from being knocked out, and we'll let him go. One problem with trying to rush as much as you can is I'm probably missing optimal matches to just go for whatever deals damage right away. <laughs> Yellow is Iceman's strongest damage dealing match. 
and it's green and blue. Okay, that node's done. Let's go down here. Just kind of do reverse order. Is this fun to watch or is this kind of on the boring side or is it just kind of crazy to see the uh, court death chaos? Oh, did I accident? I think I already spent a health pack on. Yep. I uh, clicked too quickly and healed Professor X already. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Oh, um, that could have been a match four. No big deal. That's the win to match in two moves or so. Got it. And this is the easy node right. Okay. Got two clears in there. Good to go. All right. Let's go to the five-star node here. Against these... These guys are pretty big. Let's actually bring in... They play a lot of... Countdown tiles will bring in Doctor Strange to remind them they shouldn't be doing that. We got him out already. They didn't even play an ability yet, and Court Death doesn't quite take these guys out all the way. So we're going to get our team hit by Court Death twice. Unless we do... Unless we do a tactic that sometimes I do just to save on health packs. Let's see if we can do it here. Basically hit the first guy until he is down under court. Wow. Okay, so he's ready for one shot. That's kind of what I was thinking. And now we'll take this guy down. There we go. So Doctor Strange shot him with his uh, flames down under the 15,000 mark. Let's go back to this guy. Now we can knock him out with a simple match. And the, um, the other guy who's injured already is out now, so we're only going to get hit by one court death instead of two. So it's like a trade-off in saving health, saving a health pack per, per node and spending time to move guys around. So I have to decide if it's worth it or not. Let's see, that guy, should we should hit him with something like that and save the big stuff for the next guy. Oh. Well done. Let's see, we'll do black for Thanos, then the yellow for Iceman. And Doctor Strange takes him out. Okay. Really quick run through the five-star node, for me anyway. One last time. We'll stick with that plan. Save a little bit of court death damage. go. Dr. Strange knocks him down right to a good spot. Okay, we'll go down to this guy. Saving that match four for him right here. Okay, we can play Iceman's Green. We're playing our first ability. We'll match one of our repeaters. It does immediate damage. And that is a win. Very cool. Let's double check and make sure we have everything cleared. See what place is. Uh, second place so far, 13066. I think that is total points. I just uh, run back, make sure I didn't miss a node for the full clears. Pretty sure we got everything, but... Good to look back and see. Got them all. Okay. 
So we'll leave that sit there for now. That was a nice fast blast through PVE and we're done. I have to do my ending grind yes, starting in somewhere around 10 to 15 minutes from now for that time frame. So that's kind of funny. In the meantime, let's go ahead into the Deadpool's Daily Quest. We'll play the Crash of the Titans there and that's where we will end the video for the night. But I did want to point out this globe trotting. It's pretty fun. They've built in Mysterio t into kind of a uh, wintry uh, feature event. It's not, I don't really want to call it an event or such, as such, but it does have really nice rewards. Just mostly ISO until you get to the heroic token. And then Nick Fury and Mysterio. That's really good stuff. Four star covers. And it's cool. It's one node per day, and it looks like they're scaled to your roster. This is a five star Spidey, and he's scaled to about. Uh, 27,000 health for me, so that'll be fun. I'll wait until we have a couple of nodes to play in a row for Globetrotting, and uh, let me know what you guys think of it so far, if you're going to play one per day. That's great, because in the Crash of the Titans, we're going to take on 3-star Spidey with Mysterio right here. So let's take him on, and uh, he's got his normal globe head and not the fun uh, snow globe head in this match what do we want to do here so we want to try to keep him away from blue for sure and purple there he gave us a match for match five right away whenever spidey gets a purple match he'll create a protect house so i really want to be careful about those and also blue he has a, a inexpensive stun ability which way should we do that yellow match for? I'm probably thinking, let's do it this way. I don't really see much of an advantage to either direction. He got enough to stun. Now his stun is going to be longer if there are more web tiles on the board. So we need to be careful about that. We'll play the pledge. Oh, wait a second. Now we can put our animations back on because PVE isn't slowing things down. All right, so while that's on the board, when we match yellow tiles, we'll actually get purple AP for it. Purple a, uh, AP allows, let's see, we want to play that when there's a blue match on the board, I think. Just because that lines up traps for us. And that black, yeah, uh, wait, we want to play it when there's black matches available. That's right, from thin air. Goes invisible for four turns, and no, it is blue. Why was I thinking black? Maybe black cat or something I was thinking. Okay, fine. So what we want to do is try to get those blues matchable. Even if Spidey matches them or destroys them with a line break, they will go off. Spidey's got a pretty strong yellow. We don't want him to get up to 12. Give him another yellow match. We've got to be careful. While we're invisible, he won't be able to play as yellow. There's a trap. And another one. He's earning blue, but... Taking the damage. What do we do here? I don't think there's too much we need to worry about except for him getting another yellow. And that'll be a really big hit. Set himself up for yellow. He's going to take it. Oh man. This is going to be big. 3,700 in one shot. It's his only damage dealing ability, so I guess we can live with that. Okay. Lucky we got more purple. Now, if we get enough blue built up, that's we just haven't gotten any blue. He's gotten it all. If we get enough blue built up, we will uh, have Mysterio's stun plus damage ability will take place. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, 
it stuns if you have four blue AP after it does the damage for getting up to eight. There, we lined up blue. He takes a shot. We finally get our own blue here. And another trap there. Three traps in a row. And he hits his own on a match four. We win while invisible. Awesome. Got the crash complete with Mysterio. Earns the legendary token. And that's where we're going to end it for today. For this video anyway, I should hope to get back on later to take on some battles in combined arms. And like I said, we have a ton of tokens to go through. So be looking forward to that soon after this. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please hit the MPQ icon that you see on your left screen, uh, left side of the screen right now. That helps us uh, with your support. Become sub to the channel. Really appreciate it. Have a good one. See you next time.